Hey y'all, Courtney Lyons here with Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend and today we are going to do an unboxing, but not a kit unboxing. This is going to be tray bricks and let's get started. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you like all things diamond painting because that is what my channel is about. Alright, so Tray Bricks, I remember seeing them. I actually reached out to them um, and they sent me this kit. So, I know a lot of you guys are hesitant sometimes to watch reviews about kits that, or anything, products that somebody is sent to um, for review. And just know, if this eases your mind, first off, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm very honest about the products that I get. Another thing you know is that I won't even really review things if I don't already think that it's going to be worth it. Does that make sense? I would not have reached out to Tray Bricks if, or is this Cat Eared, sorry, for their Tray Bricks because it, unless I had, hadn't already seen that and been like, Ooh, okay, that is a really cool idea. I really like that. So just know that I, I'm probably going to be a really good review because I already have seen this and know that I, hey, I'm going to like that and that looks high quality. So just so you know that. Um, this is torn because my video that I did for unboxing for these somehow got erased. I don't know how it happened. My problem, my kids, they're always on my phone. So yeah, they, uh, that's why the reason it's torn right here is because I've, I've opened and closed this so much, you know, it's not really meant to be like kept in this box. Um, but it did come really nice. It was not like this to begin with. And yeah, let's open this up. So tray bricks, for those of you who might not know, are trays and these tiny little bricks. And, okay, heads up, because I had already unboxed this and then I lost my footage, I've already kitted it up into this. So, and you will see that later on in the video. So it already has all these drills in here, which actually is kind of cool for an unboxing. Just understand this is not what you're going to get. Like you're not going to have it filled with drills. So, but I will show you. This is so cool. I have half my kit kitted up in here. And if I had enough tray bricks, I would have my full kit. Because this is the larger size. Comes with 10. There is a smaller size. Uh, about half the size, I believe. And I believe that comes with 20. Or there's another option where you can do 20 large, small ones, 10 large ones. Or 10 small ones, 5 large ones, I forget. Uh, but you'll see down in the description below which ones are available. I'll, I'll put the whole link down there so you can see that. So this one, are the, these are the larger ones, comes with 10. And I kitted up the first 10 of these colors. The rest come in baggies, so that's not a big deal. Um, and you're going to see later in this video what I do because there's no point in showing you right now. But that's why it's already kitted up because I lost that footage from before. So I wanted to show you the top. It's very smooth white and it reminds me of the Elizabeth Ward system for the the way it clasps open and close. And honestly, it's very pretty much the similar. If you have Elizabeth Ward, this is pretty much the same kind of plastic. At least it feels like it to me. It's, it's really nice. It's sturdy. This thing doesn't feel like it would break very easily at all, the clasp. And the thing that's different, though, is, and I know I'm struggling right now, but I'm actually just showing you, but this opens up much easier than Elizabeth Ward does. I don't have as much of a tr uh, an issue. Elizabeth Ward ones, I have to get the tweezers and open it like this. But you really don't have to with this. In fact, that was actually harder than just popping it open. It's much easier, which I really appreciate because... It's a little bit, I mean, I really want to love Elizabeth Ward, and I do. I love that you can get so many different sizes, but I am struggling with the clasps. It just, it bothers me. It digs under my fingernails. Not this one, the Elizabeth Ward one. Um, and this is much easier. I really appreciate that. So, because that was driving me nuts, and I have to open it with the tweezers, and that's driving me nuts. So, but I do love Elizabeth Ward. I just am really excited about this and that the fact that it's not difficult to open. So, uh, another cool thing. And this is the main feature about it. You saw that probably when I opened this up. This is a tray. And which means 
you can take this whole thing on the go and not have to worry about having a tray with you. And then if I had enough, it would be kitted up with the rest of these. And then you just wouldn't have to worry about any tray at all. You'd just be like, oh, I want to pick out this color. I'm going to do these. I'm going to open that up and do this color. Put that away. Get the next color out. Because I know a lot of you guys like to work out of trays, which I absolutely cannot because I have a cat, which actually he's not the problem. I have three kids too. I don't know why I started with the cat. He's not the problem. It's the kids. <laughs> they spill everything. So uh, that's really nice to have that. And the one, there are a few, uh, there are a couple things. Uh, I would say that not having a funnel, which if you're kidding up like this, not a big deal, but you'll see not having a funnel of any sort for pouring out, that's kind of a, meh, maybe that could be improved in future trays to be able to have even just some part right here that could just slide open and then you could pour it out like that because sometimes it's nice to be able to have a bigger, you'll see in my next one and in, in the next part of the video when I work on a confetti kit using it for that reason. But if you're kidding up in it, which is kind of the main point of these, you don't need a funnel because you're not going to be pouring this out into anything. So like I said, that's kind of a downside depending on how you're using it. But if you're kidding it up mostly the way it's supposed to be used for, not any issue whatsoever. The other small thing I will point out um, is that this top part, I don't know if you can see that, and it's not broken. I don't want to try it until it breaks, but it might use to be a little bit sturdier. I don't know if that could be fixed by maybe having some sort of plastic piece right here that stops it from being pushed down. Does that make sense? Like about right here. Just even an extra little plastic piece right there. And I, uh, by the way, Trey Bricks, when they sent this to me, specifically asked for feedback that could be improved. So I really appreciate that, that they're not sending things out being like, make a good review. You know, they want the truth. They want to know how their product can be improved, which I really appreciate. So maybe if there was like, yeah, these little plastic pieces about halfway down the middle, just to stop just about where that lip is so that you can't push down and accidentally, if you like stick, stick your elbow on it or your hand and accidentally push down too hard, is that going to break? I don't want to try it. I don't want to break it. It's not like it's super flimsy at all. Um, but it just, that's, that's something that might be a worry. Other than that, guys, I can't think of anything else <laughs> because these are really cool. I've heard that they're anti-static. It might be a different product of theirs that's anti-static, but, um, I don't really have a way to figure that out right now. I do, let me think of it. Well, these, when I kitted them up, were pretty staticky and they don't seem like they're staticky right now. So, of course, there's not a whole lot of them in there, so who knows. But other than that, I can't think of anything else that needs to be fixed on here. I mean, they're just awesome. I love how easy that is to open because it drives me nuts on the Elizabeth Ward, how tight that is. And I'm excited. I think what I'll do is I'll get a bunch of the smaller ones. So these are the bigger ones. And then I'll get the smaller ones to be able to have enough to kit up with. That would be awesome. I think that it's going to work really well for a lot of my paint gem editions. Guys, I got to show you this. I got my paint gem unicorn. I don't know if you'd call it a unicorn because technically it's been in stock a couple times and it's, I'm sure it'll be restocked, but I wasn't able to pick it up when it did get in stock both times this last time. And I found this on my car, woo, for a better deal actually. So I'm really excited. I don't know how many colors this has, but I will actually be doing a giant unboxing haul video of all my paint gems. I think I'm up to like 17. Shh, don't tell. And yeah, that's it. But let's move on to the next part of this video because I wanted to show you how this would be really useful for a high confetti kit. So I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to show you high confetti kit and then I'm going to show you kitting up in these. I mean, I kind of already did show you this, so I might edit a lot of that second part because that's kind of what we just did here because my original unboxing this was not already kitted up but that's okay things happen I think it works actually kind of shows it off a little better even so that's pretty cool okay so yeah let's do that all right here's one way we can use tray bricks um and it's for confetti and there's some ups and downs to this way of using them um the up is that 
look at all these different trays you have for confetti. All right, so now those of you who might not know what confetti is, confetti is when, and this is this part I'll zoom in if, if I can possibly. I'll zoom in when I edit. It's where you have a lot of different colors and a small amount of space, so you mostly have to single place and you don't get a lot of color blocking in there. Um, so as you can see right here, these threes, which are the 310, the black, um, that would be considered color blocking. And then, oh, pretty much the whole area, besides these threes and the Ks, that's the dark blue, um, you're getting maybe a few areas of color blocking here of threes and fours and twos, but then for the most part, you're getting a lot of um, confetti where you're getting a lot of the different color changes. And what's nice about confetti is it creates a lot of detail it's kind of nice because you're constantly changing and not on the same color all the time. But one of the most frustrating things about confetti is that you'll go through all these different placements of these drills only to realize as soon as you change it out that you've missed a symbol. So take, for instance, this E right here. Let's pretend we got all these E's and then like we got all the ones over here and then suddenly we realize we missed that one right there. It's, it, it can be very frustrating. I kind of have my system though, where I just mentally tell myself, you know what, you're gonna go through each color at least twice, you know, and just expect that. And, not, and that helps me not get frustrated when I missed a color, because I'm like, I'll just get it the second time around. But this is really a cool solution, especially if you don't like when you don't, you don't really like when there's a color left over. So you can get through all this color, move it to the side, Start with a new color, say these fours, and then you're like, oh, I forgot one of those E's. I forgot that one right there. You come and get it, pick it up, put it there and be like, yeah, problem solved. And you don't have to change the color out. So that's really, really cool. That is totally a positive. Um, I do wanna point out kind of a negative. Um, one of the negatives that could be an issue is that if you have kids or have cats <laughs> or dogs, any animals that might knock these off, this could be frustrating. But you could also just close the lids, which is so cool. Except for the one that you are using at the time. And you can be like, oh man, I still forgot an E. And then I forgot to point out that so I didn't forget which color is which. I figured I'd take the tube out and put it here. Now this is for something you have like a lot of colors for and you don't have enough tray bricks for it because I'll show you on the second one another solution. But anyway, so this way I can be like, ah, I forgot a 310, I forgot one of these and just over here, open it up really fast. Be like, oh, forgot this one last 310 here. Aren't these drills from the one with the diamond art so shiny? Um, close that back up and continue on with your, what is this, the fours? <laughs> there we go. And ta-da, you have it. And that's just really cool. So yeah, I think that's a great way to use them. Almost as just a bunch of different trays that you can kit with a confetti kit that you can fill up with a bunch of different colors. And then when you're really done with those colors, pour those colors back out, get a whole new set of colors, go through all of that. And it just, I think it makes it, like it would probably go quite a bit faster. So you're not having to dump into a tray, back out of a tray, dump into a tray. I mean, these are built in trays, containers. That is so, so cool. I will point out one small thing, and it's not too bad with this because it's not super full, but if you do kit up with this, um, because the, like I have a lot more of these fairy dust colors, like a whole bag of it. If I were to kit up the whole thing and stick it in this tray, it would be really full and it would be rather hard to get this, this line of multi-placing. In fact, let me show that to you right now. Okay, so these are the rest of the fairy dust colors that I, or color that I have for this. Let's just stick the whole bag in, which is a lot, which is really cool by the way. Um, that they give you so many specials. Uh, but you can see 
it fits perfectly fine in there. That's great. That's great to take around. As far as like getting a line for multi-placing, having it full like this, I mean, you you can see me running into problems here because you're going to have it spilling out soon. So yeah, you can get a little bit of multi-placing in the back. So the fuller that the tray is, I'm going to get like some four placers in there, right? Um, so the fuller the tray is, there's nothing to four place here. Um, then the harder it's going to get be, to be to get that line with like a tray like this. So that that's a downside or potential downside um, for if you're like taking it traveling instead um, or if you have a lot of the same color. But if you're using it in this regard where you have your, I don't think I showed you, where you have your main system right here and you're just using this to be able to like handle severe confetti <laughs> like this is a very high high confetti kit this is great because you're not going to be doing a lot of multi-placing anyway <coughs> and you don't have to have all of them in the tray at the same time because you're mostly using it for confetti another downside i'm going to point out is when you are emptying this you, you're gonna need a funnel, especially if you're putting it back into a container like this, these little pill bottle containers, um, because there's no way this is emptying back into there. So, but that's just if you're using it for this sort of reason, for if you have a different storage system already, but you wanna use this for tackling confetti. Let's look at the next one, which I already touched on, which would have been um, for traveling with a kid. All right, so ideally, and I'm going to order more to have enough to kit the whole thing up in these. So let me show you really fast, and I'm not going to do fast motion on this. I'll just, it'll just be fast. You'll see that it'll just be different. So sorry if you can hear a lot in the background. So let's say, let's start with, let's just do an order. Okay, 208. That's going to be the symbol one down there. Let me see if I can show you that first one. So I'm just going to write... <clears throat> at the top, 208, I didn't break, it's just, um, it just snapped closed. <laughs> it just wasn't closed all the way. And then the number one squared. And then now I'm going to put this in there and I'm wondering if it has static, I might have to get dryer sheets, but whatever. You guys, it'll be, I'm just gonna show you this one and then we'll just skip. It'll be time for me, for you, it will just be the next part. A little bit of static, nothing too bad. Oh, I take it back. <laughs> that was a lot of static. So I have to use dryer sheets. Okay. Are these anti-static though? I want to say that I heard that they were. I'm gonna have to check that. Let's see. Maybe they are. Ta-da! And now I can work on it. And then I just have it. So wherever I go, say I'm at the library and my kids are picking out books. So I'm like, well, I have this. I have it in my backpack. And you can honestly put these in like whatever container you want to bring with. And then just pull this out. And I don't even need to bring a tray with me. That's the best part. I don't. It's here. I just open it up. There's no pouring, which is like the... Oh, I, cl I closed that. That's the hard part about taking things anymore is having to pour the colors in and out of trays. You don't have to do that here. You just open it and you work at it from here. And then you don't have to worry about spilling or making sure you didn't forget a tray. Because there was one time that I took some time before my husband left for a week there. I just was like, I just, you're going to be gone for a week. I need a day to just have to myself before the craziness of the next week. And so I went and I went to the gym and then I went to the library and I had brought my uh, diamond painting so I could just sit at the library and just decompress for a bit. And I realized I forgot my tray, so I had to pour it on the table and just kind of pick and choose, and it worked okay. But no even issue here, because the tray is already here. I love that. I'm so excited, and I'm super excited to order more, order more of these when I get a chance to, when it fits my budget, <laughs> which hopefully will be soon. Uh, so yeah, there's that, and I'm going to snap right back into place right here. You're going to see all these done right here. All right, here we are, all kitted up. We have the 10 right here, and then these baggies left over. I put, kept the sticker in here, and I'll probably put this pen in here so that if I am out and about and I 
decide I'm done with one of these colors, I don't need it anymore, I can put them, I'm actually going to take this one extra bag, so I can put it in the bag, and then switch it out for another color and write that down. Uh, I probably usually will do that at home, but at least, I'll do it later, uh, at least I will, you know, have it in there just in case I am out and about and can't make it home, and then I'm like, ugh. Don't really want to, because I'm not going to bring a tray with me. So, yeah, I'm excited to be able to get more so that I can kit up a whole thing and not have to worry about any of this part and just, ah. Plus, I'm going to put it in this container right here. And I'm going to use this for my tray bricks from now on. The only thing is, obviously, with this canvas, I'd have to figure out some way to keep it, I don't know, some sort of portfolio I can bring or clipboard or something like that so that it doesn't get bent really nice canvas though guys check this out if you haven't seen it i will definitely be linking that down below where you can get that from Catherine. you actually it's a really really small shop you actually have to go on to her facebook page and request it so if you want exclusivity where you not a lot of people have this canvas these canvases you should go on there and also check out the video where i unbox it because it is really really cool it comes with a lot of fun stuff so I am going to put these in here, and I think that from now on, these are just going to be my tray uh, container bag from now on. Usually, I'll be using these with my paint gems, so it won't matter. That, oh, <laughs> I missed two. It won't matter that I don't have a carrying case for this, for the canvas, because any of those who know paint gem I just showed this to you but whatever you'll see what I'm talking about again is the whole kit is in here so it's not like I need to be careful with it or roll it up or anything like that I could just take that box and take this and ta-da I have it kitted up ready to go wherever I love it guys I'm so excited this was I'm just so excited. This probably, no, I know for sure. I know for sure this is my favorite way to kit up. Absolutely. I will be getting more of these so that I have enough for like a giant painting because that's that's awesome. That is so cool to have everything. I mean, okay, maybe another small side downside would be like that it's a little bulky, but I am willing to do that to not have to worry about bringing a tray and I don't know, even just at home, pouring in and out. Ah, can you imagine that? Having this whole thing kitted up for a bigger canvas and never having to pour drills in and out. You could just grab the one you need, open it, and you have a tray. Oh, I'm so excited. So, all right, that's it, guys. Long video, I know, but there's a lot to be said about these containers, and I, I'm loving it. It's definitely, yeah, without a doubt, without a doubt, this is my new favorite way to kit up. A diamond painting. All right, guys, I would love to know what you think in the comments down below. Do you have these? Have you tried them out? Do you like the idea? Is there a specific kind of container setup that you guys like best? Um, storage, I guess, is more the word for it. Storage for your diamond paintings. I'd love to hear about that. If you made it to this end of this video, go ahead and put a little snowman because we kitted up a snowman one. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Yeah. Bye.